What's up YouTube, I'm Joe, you're watching my channel Ink and Iron, back with a multi-tool comparison videos for you people shopping around for multi-tools or looking to upgrade your current tools. Here with a couple of popular models, here's the Leatherman Wave Plus and the Gerber Center Drive. This is the normal Center Drive, not the Center Drive Plus. Center Drive Plus is the one that features scissors and a partially serrated blade instead of having a serrated blade inside and a um, plain blade on the outside. Uh, by the way, the Wave Plus can have a pocket clip added, although it is an additional cost. We'll talk about that at the end. All right, so to get to the pliers, you simply unfold them on the Leatherman. For the center drive, you want to uh, engage this little button and keep your other finger on this sliding bar back here, and they will pop out. Did you see that? Boom, like that. They do have a sort of latch at the top, and then you will see they spring open properly. It is possible to fail to get it there, and then you kind of end up with this little, you know, little munchkin sort of configuration, but. You'll know when you've got it, because you'll hear that audible snap, and they will open up fully. So, these pliers are spring-loaded. That is something to make note of. Both of these plier heads feature replaceable cutters. The ones on the Gerber Center Drive and Center Drive Plus are tungsten carbide, so they are a little bit more brittle than the uh, tool steel on the Leathermans. Um, both can be replaced, um, but both of these companies have insisted that you buy the replacements and put them in yourself, so make what you will out of that statement. In terms of a gripping length, uh, you know, pretty comparable. I think the uh, sort of skinny nose portion of both of these tools is pretty similar. Uh, in terms of the serrations on the front, I think I gotta give it to Gerber for the finer serrations there. May not matter to all of you. In terms of the uh, sort of bulk serrations for nut turning, they are pretty comparable. Uh, in terms of ease of operation, probably goes to the Gerber just for the spring-loaded function, although I am a fan of not having spring-loaded function. Your mileage may vary. Consider what you like to use at this point. All right, let's go ahead and start looking at our large tools here. Um, you know, we'll save that for the end. I've got a large plain blade on my Gerber center drive, and I also have a dedicated plain blade on my Wave Plus here. In terms of length, I believe it goes to the center drive by, yeah, by a good amount. By amount that you can appreciate just with your eyes without any need for measuring. Both of them have a thumb opening mechanism. I will say it's a little tough to get the one out of my center drive, but that's going to vary depending on your uh, finishing and your tolerances on your particular model. Uh, in terms of use, I do like both of these blades, although I like that the uh, hollow grind makes this Gerber one a little bit slicier. But both are going to do all of your EDC tasks without much issue. Now. I'm going to show you the main feature of the center drive here, and that is the center drive screwdriver mechanism. So this thing folds out externally. It does hold a full quarter inch bit, which is lovely. If you have a bit set, you can fit it straight in here right away without need for any proprietary bits. Um, it does come with several other bits I'll show you later when we talk about the sheath. In order to access a spare bit, you can pop this open and get at a spare bit that you can have stored right down here. So I've got a Phillips down here. Phillips and a flat, you know, the most common things I run into every day. And um, yes, in terms of center driving, you can see that the tip of the driver is in line with the axis of the center axis of the tool. So when you're driving, that head stays in place and you simply rotate the tool around where you're driving. So that is pretty convenient. In terms of the driver on the Leatherman, it is an internal tool and it comes with proprietary bits. I am not the biggest fan of this as someone who owns a lot of non-proprietary bits. Oh, this is the uh, glass breaker and flathead combo. <laughs> yeah, you can get various other combinations as well. Yeah, in terms of reach, there's really no competition here. It goes to the center drive. If driving is your thing, the center drive is gonna be a lot more up your alley than probably the Leatherman. In order to get the same function out of the Leatherman, you will have to buy a bunch of um, a bunch of Leatherman's accessories to try and achieve the same reach and adaptability that the center drive comes with right out the box. Uh, right out the box. Okay, now we go to the internal tools for the 
Gerber center drive and you do have to lock it out all the way to get access to these because you can see they, they need to clear in order to swing open. Okay, center drive file. This is one of the external tools on the Leatherman. Come on. You can see mine actually interacts with the pocket clip a little bit. You can see it kind of snags there slightly. So something to be aware of on the Leatherman. I don't know if that'll happen to you, but it happens on mine. Um, in order to use the file properly, you have to slide open the plier heads and then, in my opinion, slide the plier heads closed again to have it locked out and in a stable configuration on the center drive. No such issue on the Leatherman, it just sort of folds open. In terms of length, um, they are approximately the same in terms of usable filing length there. That's our double cut side, single cut on the reverse of the center drive, and I've got a uh, diamond coated file on the Leatherman. So it's just gonna depend on what your filing needs are. I will say this is one of the better files that Gerber has ever made. No, it does not have an edge file for metal cutting as if it were a metal saw, unlike the Leatherman here. So you can cut uh, like metal pipe with this. It just, it takes a while. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've done it. Okay, so let's fold these back up. Just for the sake of speeding up this discussion, I'm just gonna leave these uh, pliers open on the center drive. Come on, let's take a look at the awl. So uh, I don't have a dedicated awl on the uh, wave, so it's gonna go to the center drive here. It is nice and pokey. Uh, I have stabbed it through some thin uh, steel drums and it held up really, really nicely. It is, it is quite sharp. So if you need to uh, use it as like a marking knife or to start boring holes into wood or what have you, uh, this is gonna come in handy uh, very easily and um, stay sharp. Okay, I've got a bottle opener and pry tool on here. And let me see, I don't really have a dedicated pry tool. And the bottle opener is the same as the can opener on the Wave Plus here. You can see we're approximately the same size. Um, this does not serve as a can opener, so that is one function the center drive is lacking. Although the dedicated pry function with the actually upswept pry tip here means you can pry out small nails and staples and things like that very easily. This um, is the combination bottle opener can opener for the Leatherman Wave. It also has a wire stripper down here. I don't remember if this tool has a wire stripper, I guess. Um, I don't, I don't think it really does. So that is something to make note of. Wave Plus does come with a, a wire stripping notch there. Here we go. A little bit fiddly to open the tools on the center drive. So this is their fully serrated knife. Uh, this bronze color, by the way, um, is not standard. I cleaned off the shedding black oxide that was on the tool. Like you would run your hand over it, it would turn black. Um, I knocked it off with a, um, a solution of isopropyl alcohol using a brass brush and it picked up all the brass so now it has this sort of dark bronze aesthetic um, which I kind of like. <laughs> it looks kind of cool in my opinion. Uh, for a serrated blade, let's take a look here. So obviously the ease of access goes to the Leatherman although in terms of cutting length pretty dang close if you ask me. Um, yeah just a little bit harder to access here on the center drive Center drive really geared towards people who use the pliers and the driver as their main functions. Uh, but if you need a serrated blade, this one will suit and um, has virtually the same serration pattern as the Leatherman. And then the only thing on the other side is that little bit holder. Okay, so a couple of things that the center drive does not have specifically. Um, this sort of large flathead, although with the driver function and the bit set that comes with it, you get one that is pretty comparable, I believe. Let me see here. We're within a couple of millimeters there of, of actual size on those bits. So, and like I said, you can use any quarter inch bit in this center drive. So, you know, take, take this dedicated tool with a grain of salt. Um, one thing that is unique to the Leather Leatherman is this little eyewear screwdriver, good for uh, safety glasses, tactical glasses, you know, everyday normal guy glasses. So yeah, if you have eyewear, hardware, turning needs, uh, I think the Wave is gonna suit you a little bit better. 
Okay, and then uh, in terms of price point, so you get a full bit set, the sheath, and the center drive, right? You get all that uh, without the scissors, so this is the non-scissors version. You get that for $135 according to gerbergear.com. You may be able to get a better deal at other retailers. At leatherman.com for this tool without the pocket clip but with a sheath is $110. So the Gerber is a little bit more expensive but you do get a few more accessories with the, uh, the you know whole bit holster in there. Um, both come with a sheath which can be worn on a belt although the Gerber is also Molly compatible. So that's something to keep in mind, depending on how you want to carry this stuff. And um, let's see, let's get a weight on these just so you can get an idea of how heavy this is going to be. Actually remove this for, for comparison's sake. There we go. All right. <clears throat> the Wave Plus is 8.52 ounces. The Gerber Center Drive normal version, not plus, 9.88 ounces. 241.6 grams on the wave, 280.1 on the center drive. So that has been our side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, in terms of price point, if you wanted this with a pocket clip, it's gonna run you about $120. Without the pocket clip, 110. That's coming straight from Leatherman's website. In terms of the Gerber center drive, 135 for the non-scissors version, but you get the bit set and the sheath. Um, if you want the scissors version, it's 155 USD, uh, and that also comes with sheath and bit set. So <clears throat> in terms of which one's a better deal, it's gonna depend on what your needs are day to day. I think um, you know if knives and pliers are your thing, the Wave is probably more suited to that. If quick access to pliers and drivers is your thing, the center drive is more geared towards that. Uh, in terms of which one I would go for in this current configuration at $110, $135, I'm gonna go with the Wave Plus just cause I don't really need super quick access to pliers all the time, although that is a really cool feature of this center drive. But like I said, your mileage may vary, and I hope you use this video as a tool for comparison and to spend your money how you want. Because uh, I'm not out here collecting tools for just for me. I want to be able to share the info so that you can better spend your money. I've been Joe. You've been watching Ink and Iron for more multi-tool content. It's got some stuff upcoming for knives, for fountain pens, for typewriters, for anything I want to do here on my vlog. Like, sub, do the things, and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye.